Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgam Ash, and it is time to unveil a brand new game jam. That's right, it's time for the RPG Developer Bucking Summer 2024 Game Jam, hosted by me. This year, the theme and the challenge is Anything Goes. The theme is Anything Goes. Feel free to interpret this theme however you like, or consider any of the following story or mechanic examples for a submission. A dungeon crawler, a turn-based JRPG, a fantasy that is final, a quest concerning a dragon, Rescue the Princess, an ongoing saga, a science fiction space exploration, a space opera, giant mechs battling, a visual novel, a dating sim, a high school slice of life story, a survival horror, a murder mystery, a cyberpunk city, a pizzeria simulator, a zombie outbreak, the backrooms, SCP, a parody, a satire, mutant wasteland, a fighting game, a racing game, a first person shooter, the sky is the limit, your idea here. Despite the theme being anything goes, there are still the same five rules and they have been shortened and simplified for this jam and for future jams going forward. A bit redundant on that phrasing. Your submission must be made using RPG developer Bakin. That's it. You can make your stuff in SGB, Smile Game Builder, and then port it into Bakin if you'd like and then submit it. That's fine this year. But you can't submit SGB projects. You can't submit just straight up SGB games, even if they were made in Unity. This is a Bakin jam. And you can't submit anything else that was made in any other engine. I will simply not allow it. Because again, it's a Bakin jam that, that seems to not go without saying every single year. The cold jam submissions on itch is really is really annoying. It's like, oh, oh, we got three more submissions. What are they? Let's go. Uh, this was made using uh, an API. This is a this is for a cell phone. So is this. Oh, they're just cheap flash games that are just runners. They're, 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 they're just Flappy Bird clones. Do we want a Flappy Bird clone jam? Is that what needs to happen? Rule number two, your work must be original for the jam, meaning you are starting work on it now or you have started work on something, but you haven't shown it to the public yet. You haven't revealed a demo. People haven't played it yet. It's something that maybe you've been working on here and there prior project, you can strip the mechanics out of a former project if you'd like and put them into a new skinned project with a new title, new characters, new as much as possible other than perhaps the eventing and the scripting and whatnot. That is okay, but it has to be an original work for this jam. Every year, every year, somebody's like, can I just submit this game that I only ever submitted it one time to this other place? No. Jams are challenges. They are allowing you to make do with what you can in the time that you have. And my jams are always very generous in the amount of time that they give you to make something. I try to rein it in with some limitations in order to inspire people, and this time around the real struggle is going to be where is the limitation because anything goes. We'll see if this results in a successful jam this time around. But this is not a place for you to resubmit something that you've already done, or re-upload a game that you have had before or elsewhere, or just put a few updates into something and call it good and different. It won't be special for the jam. Rule number three, your submission to the jam must remain free and accessible. If you're going to make something for the jam, make sure that it stays on the jam. It's free, it's accessible to everybody forever. Forever! I honestly can't enforce this if people come in later and want to remove their submission or take it down because they have a paid version of the game now or what have you. But if you do that, I cannot allow you to join future jams. It is a matter of integrity. But the immediate rule is you cannot charge money for it while it is in the jam because as a jam submission, it is a default itch.io rule that it must be free. I don't, I don't want to see pay what you want. I don't want to see optional donations for two, three dollars. This is not an opportunity to make money. This is an opportunity to show what you can do and what you can do with this engine. Rule number four, you must either own or have permission to use all of the assets that are contained within your game. Everything that comes with Bakin by default is fine. The official DLCs are all fine. Your own customized assets are also perfectly acceptable. If you found a free cache of assets in the Discord from other users sharing their stuff, you can use that stuff in your project. That's all fine. As long as you abide by the terms and conditions of whoever created those assets, if they want credit, please give them credit. If they charge you $2 and then say, here, anything goes, you can use these in whatever you like, you have the license, that's fine. But if you are sprite ripping graphics from an old NES game or PlayStation game, that won't work. Of particular importance, make sure your music is unlicensed. 
all of this stuff is going to be played on YouTube, and that's where rule number five comes in. But uh, if your game has music in it that is not licensed for use on a platform like YouTube, then I will actually get the notification from YouTube as soon as I'm uploading the video, and that will tell me that the project needs to be disqualified. So rule number five, agree to allow the game to be played on video platforms. This was a given in the past, sort of, but it actually needs to be an official rule. You have to agree to allow people, judges, other people, myself, whoever, to play your game on social media channels. It's how we are able to showcase your work. It's how we are able to share what the engine can do, what the developer can do. As always, the jam has three periods, join, submission, and judgment. Very simple structure. I've always loved that about itch.io. And the current dates and the dates that are going to remain firm, because this time there will be no extensions, are July 25th is when you can submit your projects. You can join the jam right now and start working on your stuff right now. That's fine. But you can actually submit July 25th. The jam submission period will end August 26th giving the judges one month to judge all of the entries. If there are significantly few entries, then it will be a much faster process. If there are significantly more entries, well, there haven't been so far, so I don't really fear that outcome. Again, anything goes. I want you to come up with something that you would love to just throw together, even if it's a simple proof of concept, uh, one room, default character, treasure chest, you wanted to test out an event and the character opens the treasure chest and your event that you've worked hard on now fires. Perhaps you have a, a collection of UI assets that you want to arrange in a certain way and you want to show the players how beautiful the UI can be when they hit pause or when they're navigating menus or what have you. Perhaps you have a story to tell about a basement that is being explored in the middle of the night and there are zombies in the basement. Perhaps a very simple visual novel wherein two people meet for the first time and decide that they should be friends. The end. Perhaps you want to make a game about your awesome universe in which you have already set many of your games and it's time for new heroes to step up to the plate and solve the current crisis of Mr. Bad Guy who was doing bad thing to good people. Yes, I'm talking about you, Patch. Or perhaps you are a bit more ambitious and you want to begin work on something bigger. A classic dungeon crawling experience that harkens back to the days of might and magic. Or perhaps a top-down 2D looking Final Fantasy-esque game. All of these are valid and I would love to see any and all of them. As for who is judging and the actual judgment criteria this year, well, stay tuned for updates on the Jam page itself in the community section. Thank you for considering joining the jam, and if there are any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions of any kind, hit me up in the comments below or preferably in the community tab where everybody else who has joined will be able to see your question and our answers. That's it guys, thank you for watching, bye for now.